So starting with the first transaction, let's say that you decide to start an ice cream shop with $10,000 that you've saved. In addition, the bank gives you a loan of $5,000 as well. Now, as simple as this transaction, this initial transaction for your business sounds, there's actually a lot going on here. And I'm probably gonna spend a little bit of time just on this simple transaction because we can relate a lot of things from here to accounting. I'm gonna introduce a lot of different concepts. So let's see what we got here. We, uh, you decide to start an ice cream shop with $10,000 you've saved. So $10,000 is uh, your own capital that you've maybe saved with a previous job that you had and now you want to start your own business. So you're going to take that $10,000 and then also let's say you went to the bank, showed them your business plan for this ice cream shop, told them that you have $10,000 of your own money that you're investing and they, you have good credit so they gave you a loan of $5,000 that you can use as well. So this here is the bank loan. And so if we sum this up, what do you have at the start of the business? Notice that you're gonna start with $15,000 worth of cash. That's what your business is starting with, $15,000 of cash. Now, notice that we can split, here this line, we could split this top part and this bottom part into two different categories. Notice that this $15,000 of cash that your business has, this is actually an asset of the business. And in future videos, we're going to define in more detail what an asset is, but for now, I'm just gonna keep the word there. Right? So this cash here is an asset of the business. It's gonna be used for future benefit. And then this $10,000 of your own capital and then this $5,000 of the bank loan, notice that these we can call the sources of the asset. Right, so this $15,000 of cash didn't just miraculously appear there were sources for this cash. 10,000 was your own capital, and then $5,000 was from the bank loan. And differentiating between the asset of a business and the sources of the asset, that's actually <clears throat> one of the fundamental ways that external users, when they're looking at a business, they wanna see these two separate categories. Right, so if we split them up vertically, so the asset of this business is the cash, which is $15,000. And then, let me just erase this here, we have the sources of the asset. And usually there's gonna be more than one asset, so I'll put assets here. And then the sources of this $15,000, as we said, was the uh, bank loan of $5,000. And then your own capital, let's just call it capital. Sometimes you'll see this uh, be referred to as maybe share capital or paid in capital. I'm just gonna call it capital. And that was $10,000 of your own money. So we got the assets on the left side and then we have the sources of these assets on the right side. And this is one of the fundamental ways, as I mentioned, that external users want the information of a business presented. And this here is where the balance sheet is coming from, one of the financial statements. And I'm going to get into a little bit more detail on how the balance sheet is organized, but this is the beginning of it. This is how it is fundamentally created. We got the assets on the left side, and then we have the sources of the assets on the right side. Because again, they don't just come out of nowhere. Someone has to fund this project. So if we look here, 
at these two sources of assets, we got this bank loan, and then we had this capital, your money that you invested. Notice that these two sources are very different. This here is your own, and then this here is from the bank, and there's actually going to be a bunch of differences between these two. One of the differences is with the bank loan, you're gonna to have to pay interest. While the investment that you made of your own money, you're not gonna be charging yourself interest. So that is just one of the many differences. I'm gonna explain some differences soon. But because these sources of assets are so different, what we do is we actually put them in separate categories. And so the bank loan, we put under a category called liabilities. So we got bank loan, that was $5,000. And then your own money that you invested, we call that equity. So that's gonna be your own capital, and that's gonna be $10,000. Right, so instead of having sources of assets, that general title, we now split that up into two other titles. We got liabilities, and then we have equity here. And this here is a very basic balance sheet. A balance sheet is always gonna have assets on the left side, and then it's going to have liabilities and equity on the right side. The reason why it's called a balance sheet is notice if we sum up everything on the left side, we got what, 15,000. Right, we just have this cash here. And if we sum up everything on the right side, 5,000 plus 10,000, notice that this is gonna be 15,000 as well. On a balance sheet, both of these sides should always balance.